this video we'll make a sine wave and we will display it on our plane and we will also be making a procedural map and we'll be adding the colors over it very basic colors right now so let's start in the project i have a plane and a material on it inside this plane inside our plane we'll add a new script let's name it sine wave and let's open it in visual studios we'll give reference to our mesh and let's make an array of vector 3 let's call it vertices and a mesh collider the start in the start function we'll say mesh is equal to get component mesh filter dot mesh and our words will be our mesh dot vertices so all the vertices vertices that this mesh will have will be added in our words and our mesh coil let's give reference to our mesh collider let's say get component mesh collider and in update we'll make a for statement to iterate to iterate in all the vertices so we'll do i is less than and we'll be changing the y position of our words so we'll do words i dot y equals to math if dot sign in this math if in the math if dot sign first thing we'll do is make a public float so we can change the value or the power of our sign so let's say sign value we'll multiply this sign value with our i and add time dot time to it so now after the first statement we want to say that mesh dot vertices are equal to our words and we'll recalculate the bounds on our mesh so let's just recalculate bounds and finally our mesh collider dot shared mesh will be equal to mesh that's all we need to do this is everything we will need to do now inside now you'll see it's just moving up and down right now because we haven't changed the sign value just rotate your plane 90 degrees in y and now let's just start so guys that's all you would need to do to make a sine wave and display it on a plane i had a lot of fun with it i had rigid body i i added rigid bodies over it and played around with it a lot so i hope you guys enjoy it too and now let's begin with our second part of the video we will make procedurally generated maps and really basic so let's start uh, making a procedural map we won't be using this plane instead uh, I just I went to package manager and downloaded pro builder you can install it too and let's just go to tools pro builder pro builder window and we'll make a new shape plane and for the width and height i'll do 20 by 20. you can obviously increase this width and length and press build now 
while this new shape is selected you can see we have an option to subdivide the object let's press it couple of times so now we have a lot of vertices to play around with i'll just keep it to these many right now now inside this plane let's create a new script i'll name it procedural map i'll open this script and let's copy and paste all the things we did for a sine wave script because most of the things will stay the same now we'll also be changing the color depending on the height of our vertices so let's let's make a make an array of color and this will be our color will be equals to new color and we'll just give vertices or words dot length so our size of this array will be same to our words now just now we'll make a new vector 3 to change the value of our words words i dot x in the x value we'll keep keep it same and so for the z value words i dot z and now instead of using sine wave we'll use perlin noise we will multiply the x value with a let's change the sine value and make it perlin noise value and let's multiply it with with it and let's do same with a z value and multiply it with a perlin noise value and let's make another public float this name it power this will this will increase the height of our vertices or lower them and let's also recalculate our normals right now we didn't do any changes with the color but let's go in the start mode let's run let's run our project and let's change the noise value and you'll see that our mesh is getting changed now we have this distorted noise acting upon our vertices you can obviously change both these values to play around play around with it now for the color i'll hard code it a little bit So let's make a new color and we'll be using this perlin noise value again. So let's make a float and let's say y value equals to our mathf dot perlin and let's give y value and also let's do mesh dot color. colors is equal to our color i hard coded our color value to keep the video short but you can play around with it and you will get better result 
in the similar tutorials in future i will show you how to use shader shader graph to edit the color values to make a color work i have to select the sh shader under the particles as i'm using lightweight render pipeline i went to particles and selected lit now in the start mode you can see that we are getting different colors but it doesn't look nice right now so we'll change color to color 32 and even over mesh dot colors we'll make it mesh dot color 32 and now if i start our colors will look much more nice you can play around with the values to see what fits your game i personally think this looks great i did few changes and this is the final output i got please like and subscribe if the video was helpful thank you